hello happy people welcome back to my channel today i wanted to bring you all another travel video as far as what i bring with me when i go on trips um this right here is my makeup bag that i normally take out of town with me and it's super cute kind of like a little velvety type feel to it got the little fringes so yeah it's an ulta bag and let me show you what's inside so all of the items that I need to do my makeup fit in this tiny little bag and I can get a nice full beat face um, for work while I am on the road. So I'm just going to kind of go through um, everything that I have in here and show you guys. So the first item obviously is foundation. Um, so this is the base. I do use the CoverGirl 3-in-1 um, All Day Flawless. This stuff gets me right. Um, this one is actually pretty much empty. Let me see if I can show you the inside of it. Like, I mean... Yeah, there's like nothing left in here. I don't even know if you guys can see the inside of it, but there's like nothing left in here. So I have a lot of backups of these, like like at least eight or nine more backups of these because this is the um, foundation that I use when I go out of town. When I put this on, when I say I don't have to do anything to my face at all whatsoever, I don't have to do anything. So love this. This is the foundation that I use. I'm going to just kind of stack all the items up here as I go through them. Um... Also, before I put my foundation on, I normally put on a primer. This is the primer that I use. I'm pretty much all out of this, y'all. I mean, I feel like all these items I'm going to show y'all are pretty much empty because I used them up. This was a primer I got when I was in Europe. I've had it for like two years now. It works really, really good. And I think that it's pretty much all done now. So I actually need to switch it out and put a new primer in. But this is the primer that I was bringing with me when I went out of town. Um, after I do primer foundation, I normally put on my powder. I love using this black radiance powder. I have this one in the color cafe. It's not my perfect shade match. Um, my perfect shade match is ebony, but I did pick this one up just to try it out. Um, I definitely will be switching back to ebony when I'm done. I found that that's like the perfect match for me. So this is, uh, the powder that I use to set my foundation. Um, after I set my foundation, I normally go in and put on blush. This is the blush palette that I bring with me. I love this e.l.f. blush palette because the mirror is awesome. It's super huge, but then also these colors. I mean, I love this. I can just mix and match. I can have a more neutral look if I wanted to use this one and this one. I could have a nice little uh, super uh, pinky blushy look with this one. Um, I can have a deeper berry blush look with this one. So I love, I literally just hop around and just mix and match all the different uh, colors when I'm out of town. And I just, I love this palette so much. I've been using it consistently for the last year and a half, two years uh, when I travel, but I use it exclusively for when I travel. So um, not much dent, not a big dent has been made in it, but I definitely, definitely enjoy this a lot. So this is the blush palette that I bring with me when I'm out of town. Um, after I do blush, I do highlighter. So this is the highlighter, also by Black Radiance. Um, it's interesting. This one is actually intended to be a bronzer. It's a beautiful baked bronzer. I don't use it as a bronzer at all. I use it as a highlighter because that's what it looks like on me. Look at that. So when I blend it out, it just, it gives me this really nice, just like natural glow. Look at that. I mean, that's a glow from within, right? So I use this as my highlighter. Um, I guess I'll put that here. After that, oh, what I use to apply my, apply my blush is my e.l.f. Uh, Kabuki brush. So I just use this just to put powder on, the blush powder on. Put that here. Um, after I do my blush and highlighter, I normally do my lips after that just because I'm normally in a huge rush when I'm putting my makeup on out of town. And so typically what I'll start off with is using this e.l.f. Uh, lip gloss. I am all done with this, so I need to take it out of my bag and replace it with something else. I guess you all will see what's going to be in my beauty empties coming up here soon. But this is in the um, flavor Cherry Tart, and I really like it a lot. It's, it's very opaque, um, and it's a nice... It's nice and moisturizing and it has a nice taste to it. It was kind of sweet. So I like that a lot. I do my lips with that and or I will put on my lipstick. Which if I don't put on the lip gloss, I will do a lip liner. Let me pull that out first. It's a tiny little nub of a lip liner, y'all. Like That mug is pretty much over with. But that's bae, so I always bring it with me, you know? Here it is. Okay. It's all the way at the bottom. All right, so this... <laughs> 
This is the lip liner I use, y'all, because this mug, it's, it's, it's well loved. I like the fact that this came with another pencil, this top, but I liked it because it's a pencil sharpener and it's also a lid to cover it up. So I just put it on this one. This pencil I've had since I was in Moldova, y'all, which is like two and a half, three years ago. I've had this pencil and it's taken me forever to use it, but it's just the perfect dark berry color for me. Um, and I typically like a dark berry color for a base for my lips or for a lip liner. So this is how much of it I have left. It's not much at all. I'm sure a few more trips in this bad boy will be done, but I'll normally line my lips with this. And then after I line my lips, I will put on my Milani lipstick. And this one's in the color or shade uh, Matte Love. And let me see how much of this I have left. I don't have too much of this left either. So you can see my products are well used and well loved. So that's that. It's my lipstick. And so after I do my face, then I come back and do my eyes. I do my, my eyes the, the I do my eyes last because that's the least important for me. I feel like if I at least have my face, my cheeks, and my lips done, even if I don't get around to doing my eyes, the rest of my face looks put together. And if I don't have time to do eyeshadow at all, I'll just do a quick eyeliner and some mascara and call it a day. But typically I do have time to do my eyes. And so this is the um, eyeshadow palette I bring with me. It actually came as part, as, so this came as part of the gift set for this bag um i'm not the biggest fan of it but i kind of want to use it up pan it out or whatever so this color plum drop um is well used i probably use that most when i'm out of town and then desire is another one that i dip into a lot this fearless color is useless sunshine is useless um i really only use this palette for the mattes um and so yeah this is the eyeshadow palette i bring with me small travel friendly not my favorite but want to get some use out of it before i i toss it so that's my eyeshadow palette and then i bring one other eyeshadow palette with me and this is where my lovely glam colors come in at um, this is the maybelline eye studio and it's just a little quad here it has four shades i really love this gold shade right here i mean it's just absolutely beautiful i'm gonna zoom in here so y'all can get an idea of the real colors but that's really pretty this one's cute too i barely use this one and i really pick this palette out because I'm always into using a gold as like a lid shade but then this right here I kind of use as like a darker outer corner and I normally use this darker outer corner along with some of the lighter colors that's in this palette so yeah really really like that and so these are the two eyeshadows I bring with me um and then after i put the eyeshadow on i use the eyeliner this eyeliner is 99 cents y'all i got it off of ebay i've been using it since i was in moldova and i absolutely love it this is probably my favorite eyeliner to use it is a felt tip applicator um nothing too special with it but i just i really like it it gets the job done so i use this and then after i do my eyeliner then i will go in with some mascara this has become my favorite mascara to use when I'm on the road. It is the uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Original and the Black is Black, I believe. Yeah, it's in the Black is Black. And this one, it's been lasting me a while. It still has some left in it. Um, and yeah, it gets my night lashes nice and full. So that's the um, mascara that I use when I'm out of town. And then let me just show you guys. So this is... Um, a uh, set of eyeshadow brushes. I found this when I was in New York traveling for work at some beauty supply store and I was super excited that I found this. I have since found it at other beauty supply stores here um, in my neighborhood but I love the fact that it's so travel friendly. So okay so battery went dead but I wanted to show you all these are the travel makeup brushes that I normally take with me. This brush right here is my uh, uh, eyeshadow brush like so all over lid brush. So I'll normally just uh, pack on whatever powder, whatever lid color I want. After I finish with this brush, then I'll go on to uh, doing my outer corner V with this, uh, this flat kind of brush here. Um, and then after I do my outer corner V, I just use this brush to kind of blend out um, the shadow to make everything blend together all nicely. And then this brush, this brush right here I use for two different things. Originally I had brought it to uh, use as a concealer brush. I think that's actually what it is. Oh, crease prep brush is what it's called, but I do not use it for that at all. Um, I use it uh, 
mainly to clean out my foundation bottle when it runs out so that's like I'll dig the brush inside and soup it around and then put foundation on my face so that's kind of what I bring it for now every so often if I'm trying to be fancy I'll use it for uh, for concealer but I've not had to use that or do that too frequently so that's what is kept inside of this container this is also really nice too because when I'm traveling I'll just kind of like set them up like this and it's kind of like I have my um, like how I store my makeup brushes here at home so it kind of recreates that while I'm on the road so that's what's in here and then I do have a blush brush that I use this one right here um, also from Ulta but just a nice uh, actually no this isn't I don't it's a blush brush but I don't use it for blush I actually use it for um, I use this for my highlighter so that's that and oh I have another eyeshadow that I normally bring with me as well this is also something I got from Moldova love these two colors I only really use this when I'm being extra I've not used it too much but it's very very pigmented um, love this a lot so when I'm trying to be extra fancy I'll bring this with me um, so I'll put that here and let me put it right here actually and then the last brush that I bring with me is my foundation brush. I keep it in this bag because it gets pretty messy, but it's a flat top kabuki brush from um, e.l.f. And it's pretty dirty, so don't mind it. But yeah, that's what I use to put my foundation and apply my powder with. And then I have a few other items in here, which I don't really actually use that often, but I have them with me. So I have, uh, this is the company I used to work for. They have some synthetic towelettes, so I normally will bring this with me. Um, I have some e.l.f. eye makeup remover pads for when I want to get the rest of my like mascara off and I have a hard time with it. So I bring that with me. And now I have two um, travel light makeup remover uh, things from from some whatever hotel I stayed at or whatever I'll put that in the bag just so that I have more makeup remover towels with me and then I have just a few more lip products this is a transparent um, universal lip liner it's by Rimmel and so I bring that with me in case I run out of a lip liner or don't know what I want to use to line my lips with this goes on clear but it does hold lipstick and whatever lip product in place so I bring that with me um, I'll also bring two matte uh, soft matte lip creams from NYX one is in the color Budapest and then the other one is in the color Prague I love these two colors so I typically bring these on the road with me if I want to switch up my look uh, there we go and then the last thing is a Scandal Eyes by Rimmel uh, eyeliner um, I'm not the biggest fan of this but I bring it with me just in case so I could try to use it up like it's okay but I'm just not the biggest fan of it so this is what the marks look like it's okay it's just applying it is a little difficult I think because the felt tip is so small but uh, yeah this is that's it. And then the only other thing I have in here are some bobby pins. And I keep those just for my hair. I like to have them at the bottom of the bag there. But yeah, this is everything that I bring with me when I travel to go out of town. This is everything for a nice full face. Nice, simple, easy. And it all fits inside of this bag. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, it was a lot of fun making this. Um, let me know what you guys think about these type of videos. Um, like a travel series with me doing just the different items. I bring when I go out of town um yeah so feel free to comment and uh leave some love down below um and I will see you all in my next video I hope you have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye